Hi, welcome to Deep In. My name doesn't matter. Let's dive in. About two weeks ago, I spoke on 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 1 through 8, and that's the instructions to the husbands and wives. Uh, it's always a difficult passage just for us to grasp and understand well. So I thought I'd just produce a little bit here to explain one of the uh, small key points that I kind of breezed past in the message. The point is found in verse 4, but let your adorning be the hidden person of the heart with the imperishable beauty of this of a gentle and quiet spirit which is in God's sight is very precious this idea of a gentle and quiet spirit can lead us to think that uh, women are supposed to be incredibly sensitive and very um, tender and not at all uh, loud or engaging or outgoing uh, but that's not really what these words mean you see gentle indicates an a peaceful attitude or a calming attitude, meaning that when you are dealing with your husband as a wife, you are a calming effect on him or you are striving to be a calming effect on him. Now, that doesn't mean uh, that you don't say anything. It doesn't mean that you don't speak. Uh, likewise, the word quiet has this a similar connotation. It really means peaceful or able to provide rest. So, you know, if if you're a wife who likes to talk to her husband and likes to engage him on that level, that's okay. In fact, it's probably a good thing that you would do that and that you would engage him and speak with him and talk with him. So when you hear the phrase gentle and quiet spirit, you really ought to harken back to the idea that you are able to bring some rest to your husband and to the relationship you have with him. So. Uh, in context here in this passage, the idea is that you are a ordered woman who, who is in the right place, uh, not in a negative sense, but in a positive sense, that you are finding your role well within your marriage and that you are providing a uh, meekness and a calmness, a gentleness, a modesty towards your husband. Uh, that is not ruling over him, nor necessarily letting him be ruler over you, but instead it is walking beside him as the tranquil, calming force in his life. So hear this concept that, that this kind of tranquil, peace-giving lifestyle is precious to God. God has great value for uh, your role as the peace-bringing agent in a marriage. You remember that when the Bible refers to the wife as the helper, it actually is elevating her status to a status that is that is given to God at different points. The Holy Spirit is called the helper multiple times in the Bible, especially in the Old Testament. David in the Psalms looks up to the heavens, from whence does my helper come, and calls for God to come help him. The prophets call to God as their helper. So this concept that you are uh, the peace bringer or the giver is actually a elevating one. And this is why it's so precious in God's sight. You see, you are valuable and precious to God as the wife because you are fulfilling a role that exemplifies his character on this earth and shows who he is. So take great delight when the Bible says things to you and admonishes you to do things that seem difficult and seem hard because Christ has empowered you to do them through his work on the cross and through his resurrection from the dead. So I hope that encourages you this morning or today or tonight or whenever you look at this. Thank you for joining me in the deep end. Get to work.